Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam and this document is issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. In issue two of the sample assessment materials, we have seen the introduction of a number of multiple choice questions, and we're going to look at three of those now. Now, this is at the start of the mechanical section, and one important thing to point out is how it wants us to identify our answer. It says here, some questions must be answered with a cross in a box. If you change your mind about an answer, put a line through the box and then mark the new answer with a cross. So the accurate answer needs to be marked with a cross. Now, question six asks us to identify the units of measure for pressure. And this is probably something you either know or you don't. The units for pressure are pascals. But let's assume you didn't know that. We could use a process of elimination. Now, we know that Celsius is a measure of temperature. And hopefully from your studies of electrical engineering, you know that coulombs are a measure of charge. If you don't know that they're a measure of charge, you probably are aware that they're more involved with electrical engineering rather than mechanical engineering. And a litre, hopefully we're all familiar with the measure of litre as a measure of volume. So the only answer that can be correct there is pascals. And pascals are actually the standard international units of pressure as well as stress. Let's look at another one of these questions. And question seven says identify the term that defines the relationship between the change in length of a material and its original length. So change in length over original length, or we normally call this delta L over LO. Now once again, it's probably something you know or you don't know, but change in length over original length, we give the symbol epsilon, and epsilon represents strain. Again, if you don't know that straight away, what we can do is we can look at each of the others and by process of elimination, get rid of some of those. So for example, stress is force divided by area. It's a measure of the distribution of force on a piece of material. And we would see this in the context of something like tensile loading, where we're applying a force to a piece of material and the stress is the force divided by the area of the sample. And strength is something different also. Strength is a measure of how much stress a piece of material can take before it breaks. So when we talk about the strength of a material, we're not talking about how much it stretches. What we're talking about is at what point does it fail. So again, we can rule out strength. And D, strip. To my knowledge, there's no mechanical context for a variable called strip. Therefore, the only answer again can be strain. Now let's move on and look at question eight, which is also a short answer question. And the question states, materials can be exposed to a range of environments and in-service conditions. And it asks us to state one factor that affects the Young's modulus of a material. Now what we're talking about here, the Young's modulus is a property of a given material. So for example, the Young's modulus of steel will be different from the Young's modulus of brass. And what the Young's modulus connects is stress over strain stress over strain. But what the question's asking us is what affects the property? What affects the material property? Now one of the things that can affect the material property would be temperature. If we think of a piece of metal becoming hot, then what happens is it softens. And if it softens, then it's going to affect the properties of the material. So for me personally, probably the best answer I could put here would be temperature. Now on the marking scheme, it does mention another factor, and the factor that it refers to is impurities in the material. So if, for example, we had a piece of steel here, and we knew that the elastic modulus of this grade of steel was 200 gigapascals, any impurities in that material, so any contaminants or um, particles that weren't supposed to be in that material would potentially affect the elastic modulus. 
It might, for example, cause the elastic modulus to decrease to 180 gigapascals. Therefore, another suitable answer here would have been impurities in the material or contaminants in the material.